This is a patent by Ralph Bergstrasser who came up with all those purple Tesla healing discs. But one thing that he has that absolutely does work according to different people and I was turned on to this by Peter Lindemann uh, a good friend of mine who told me about this and I looked it up and I built one and he had used it in the past and he actually knew Bergstresser personally and Bergstresser actually knew Tesla and met him when he was younger and so what this is is a device for prolonging ignition spark device for prolonging ignition spark by Ralph E. Bergstresser B-E-R-G-S-T-R-E-S-S-E-R -E -S -S -E the patent number is a US patent number 3939814 dated February 24th 1976 and basically what this diagram shows is that's an ignition coil this is the spark spark prolonger and that's the center of the distributor this page right here is a breakdown of it and basically what it is is it's one single wire wound over an electrically inert core which means use plastic solid hollow doesn't matter don't use wood like he says because that could retain moisture and so you're not looking for a magnetic field in an iron core or anything like that even though it may produce an electric field it will uh, electromagnetic field what you want is something like plastic diameter of the plastic the outside diameter you want one and a quarter inches use exactly that size just so it's to spec now what it is is from the ignition coil it comes here and it's wrapped 15 turns and each turn is a, a roughly 0 0.07 inches spaced then there's 48 turns in the opposite direction and you can see that little loop there which is wound in the other direction um, 96 turns and then the wire is bent and it's wrapped the opposite direction 48 turns so 48 96 48 and then 15 these are tightly wound and the one coming from the distributor or from the ignition coil are spaced then on the output here that goes to your distributor spark plug or whatever now what it does is it prolongs the spark so that the spark lasts longer over an extended period of time so the longer that the spark is able to maintain and stay there in the combustion chamber the more gas is going to be burned the more power you're going to get the less emissions and all that kind of good stuff so anyway check out patent 3939814 so these are just going into some of the details on it now the only thing I didn't do to spec is that I'm using 23 gauge magnet wire and in his specs he used 22 gauge slightly bigger now sometimes he did 50 wines 150 you know he kept this at 15 is spaced now these aren't um, held down and the, this is not really to spec right here but this is 15 wines and I'm going to have to super glue each wind as I go so that I maintain a consistent spacing apart from each other so that it matches his diagram here okay and basically it's really really simple and out of the whole patent there's just a couple things you need, really need to pay attention to in my opinion the wire is preferably 22 gauge the coils on this first section and this is considered the first section coming from the ignition coil ignition coil goes into here goes through here that's the first section this entire section is considered the second section the second section is broke down into three sections this winding here off this first coil is like this as it's coming around this way and comes out you loop it around and start winding back this way 48 turns loop it go that way 96 turns loop it come back in 48 turns so this amount of turns and that amount of turns is equal. I just covered this up with tape to begin with and I just taped up the seams at the very ends otherwise it holds pretty nice but you probably really want to you know keep it exposed looks looks good and I would say use super glue or something like that to keep it held in place so equal amount of turns this is equal and this is equal
and this equals that many turns. 48, 96, 48. He used 50, 150, found uh, good results. It didn't diminish it very much, if at all. But the preferable way to do it is 15 turns, and each turn is spaced 0.078 turns. Right here out of the patent, in the first winding portion, the coils are spaced apart approximately 0.078 inches at the end of the first portion. Then you come down here, okay, and it's talking about the core is one and a quarter inches in diameter. This diameter is exactly one and a quarter inches in diameter. The first portion contains 15 windings, 15 turns, and covers approximately one, one and one-fourth inch. I'm covering a little bit longer than that, but that's just because I don't have these pinned down where they need to be. Okay, and then and each the spacing between each of these 15 windings is 0 0.078 inches. As previously stated, 22 gauge wire is preferred. Now, the first and third sections of the second portion, this is the first portion, that's the second, and this is the first, second, and third portion of the second section. The first and third section each contain 48 turns and extends approximately one and a quarter inch along the core. And that, that is approximately what I got. I might have a little bit less, but that's just because I'm using some one gauge smaller wire than he is. The second section, which right here, contains 96 turns, which is double this or double that, right? So you put that many turns together, that equals this. 96 turns and, and extends approximately two and a half inches. I got slightly less than that because, again, I'm using slightly less than that, slightly smaller wire. So, as apparent, the number of turns in the second section of the second winding is twice the number of turns as the first or third winding. That's the whole thing. That's it. All you got to do now is take this wire, connect that to the uh, ignition coil, and you take this wire here and you connect that to the spark plug. Now, this isn't meant to be used with the CDI or anything else, capacitive discharge ignition, water spark plug, or whatever. This is just to show a concept that has been proven to work. It worked for Peter. It worked for other people. This thing was sold in the past. I don't know it's with Bergstresser anymore. But basically, um, this was just done with a 12-volt battery system where the, the battery power is what's pulsing the ignition coil and not a capacitor discharge. Okay, so remember that for one, and it's saying ignition wires must be in good condition to carry the spark resistant cable. Uh, ignition wires must be in good condition to carry the spark prolonger charge. Preferred device has a core diameter of one and a quarter inches and is wound with 22 gauge magnetic wire. The use of wood for the core is not suitable as plastic since wood usually contains some moisture. Now, he didn't indicate whether a solid or uh, solid core or a, or a plastic tube would work better. So, I'm just going with plastic tube because this is about $3.50 for five feet. Okay, and so that's pretty much the whole patent there. And so, I think it's worth looking at. Peter pointed out to me, it's, it's too simple not to build and try out. You know, your hand will be hurting after a few minutes of winding these things. But after that, you got it and you don't have to rewind it. So check it out.